Did you know that machine learning engineers are the highest paid tech professionals in the UK? Their salary is on average 100K nearly, which is greater than data scientists, AI engineers, and software engineers. But it's not all about the paycheck. As a machine learning engineer, you get to work with cutting edge tools, tackle fascinating problems, and really make a positive difference on the world. So in this video, I want to give you a clear learning roadmap to becoming a machine learning engineer along with the best resources. Let's get into it. Undoubtedly, I would start learning with maths. Maths is pretty much the heart of machine learning and the whole tech and data field, and you'll use it throughout your whole career. Most people think you need to be some sort of maths genius to work in this field. I can wholeheartedly say that that is definitely not the case. The level of maths knowledge you need is roughly equivalent to the last things you'll learn at your high school maths class and maybe a few topics from the first or second years of a STEM subject at university. In general, there are three areas of maths you need to study. Number one is in the algebra, where you learn about things like matrices, vectors, and eigenvalues. Number two is calculus, where you learn things like differentiation, which behind the gradient descent and the back propagation algorithm. And number three is statistics, where you learn things like probability distributions, probability theory, maximum likelihood estimation, Bayesian regression, and how that relates to data and also how models use that information to better train them and have better predictions. To learn all the required maths and statistics knowledge, I recommend the following three resources. The first one is the Practical Statistics for Data Scientists textbook. I've recommended this one so much. It is a book that teaches you the exact stats you need to know as a data scientist or machine learning engineer, and all the exercises are in Python, so they're directly relevant for the role. The second book is the Mathematics for Machine Learning textbook. This is pretty much the only book you need. However, I will say it's quite dense and a little bit overkill. However, it is very good as a reference text for when you want to learn a particular topic. But as the title suggests, Mathematics for Machine Learning will teach you the maths for machine learning. So it is very, very good. And if you go through everything, your maths knowledge will be excellent. And finally, the third resource I recommend is actually a course, which is the Mathematics for Data Science and Machine Learning Specialization. This is a course that will teach you literally what the title says, the maths you need for machine learning and data science. So it's very targeted and it'll teach you all the required and necessary maths in a course format if that's what you prefer. I also have a whole video, which I'll link on screen here, which details every single topic in maths and stats that you need to know. The reason that I have included in this video is because this area is so large that if I wanted to give you a, a breakdown every single bit of the field you need to know in maths and stats, it'll take forever. So I recommend checking out this video if you want a more of a thorough guide. Python is the lingua franca, as they say, when it comes to machine learning. Those people who say learn R over Python are just wrong. If you want to work in this field as a machine learning engineer, forget R, just learn Python. Literally look at any job description or any top tech company, all their machine learning engineers are working in Python. So learn Python, don't worry about R. A common theme I have seen with my coaching clients and also just general beginners I've spoken to in the field is that they try to find the best course. I have said this so many times, no such thing as the best course exists. Any intro to Python course that is popular and reasonably rated will teach you the exact same information. It will teach you everything exactly the same because there's only really a few things that intro to Python courses can teach you. Therefore, they'll teach you the exact same things. So pick a course and just start with it and don't overcomplicate it. Anyway, in terms of the things you should know, it's basically just the basics of any programming language. So number one, native data structures like dictionaries, tuples, sets, lists, things like that. Number two, learn things like for and while loops. Number three, learn different conditionals. So if, else, things like that. Four, learn functions and classes. Python is an object-oriented programming language, so classes are particularly important to really understand. And five, learn all the common libraries, or at least be aware of most of them. You also want to learn some of the more machine learning targeted packages in Python. So number one is NumPy, which is used for arrays. Number two is Pandas, which is used for data manipulation and just working with data. Number three is Matplotlib, which is used for 
pretty much plotting. And number four is scikit-learn, which is like the most popular machine learning package in Python. And it basically implements all of the fundamental algorithms in machine learning. In terms of resources to learn Python, I recommend number one, W3School's Python course. This is a course I took when I first started learning. It's completely free and it's very good. Number two is a Python for Everybody specialization on Coursera. I haven't taken this course, but it's very, very popular, probably the most popular Python course out there. And loads of people have rated it and have told me about how good it is. So by judging by that, I think it should be pretty good. And number three is the machine learning with Python and scikit-learn. This is a free CodeCamp video that will get you to implement most of the fundamental machine learning algorithms from scratch using Python. So it's a really good way to work with the libraries and also you learn some machine learning as well whilst you're also learning Python. So win-win all round. While these courses are great for getting you into Python, they won't teach you all the information required to land a machine learning engineer job. So if you don't want to bounce around courses and are looking for a one-stop shop to become a machine learning engineer, then I recommend Zeros to Masteries become an AI and machine learning engineer career track who are kindly sponsoring this video. Zero to Mastery will teach you how to become a fully fledged machine learning engineer. And will teach you topics like data analysis, data science, machine learning, Python, and everything else you need to secure a job as a machine learning engineer. This will also include resume and interview preparation. The reason I recommend Zero to Mastery is that they use project-based learning when it comes to their teaching, which is by far and away the best way to learn. For example, in this career path, you will build 24 projects using a variety of tools and machine learning algorithms. So you will have loads of hands-on experience to show off when you're pursuing job opportunities. But the best part is that over 500,000 community on Discord full of students and instructors that you can speak to and keep yourself accountable. There's a channel in this Discord for pretty much everything. There's one for resume prep, Python practice, and there's even a channel where you can find buddies that are gonna keep you accountable throughout your learning journey. I have literally never seen anything like this before. I will leave all of this linked in the description below for you to check out. As a machine learning engineer, you will spend a reasonable amount of time in SQL, whether this be making new data sets or doing some feature engineering. So you need to be reasonably well versed, at least in the fundamentals, if you want a job in this area. The SQL skills you need are select star from, alter insert create, group by, order by, where and or between in having, average, count, min, max, sum, full join, left join, right join, inner join, union, outer join, just like all the joins, case and ifs, date add, date diff, date part. So again, just all the fundamental kind of syntax and commands you need to know. In terms of resources, the first one I recommend is the Complete SQL Bootcamp on Udemy. This is the SQL course I took when I was first learning, and it's very good. It just teaches you everything, including how to actually set up SQL on your local computer, which is something most courses don't teach. The second one is the W3 School SQL tutorial. Again, recommended it for Python, and I recommend it here. It's a great resource. It's completely free as well. So if you don't want to spend money, then this is your your top pick in my opinion and the third one is very similar it's called tutorials points again this is like a free online guide for most programming language w3 schools and tutorials points are kind of like my go-to if you want a free resource or reference text so you can't go wrong with either of those if you're after a free resource to everyone's surprise we need to learn machine learning to become machine learning engineers. The key algorithms and concepts you need to know are linear, logistic, and polynomial regression, decision trees, random forest, and gradient booster trees, support vector machines, k-means and k-nearest neighbor clustering algorithms, feature engineering, evaluation metrics, and concepts like regularization, bias versus variance, and cross-validation. But to learn all the information, the course I recommended literally on this channel for probably years now is the machine learning specialization by andrew Ng. you probably know the story i took this course like five years ago and it was the first ever machine learning course i took and it's just fantastic i'm not even going to try and sell you on it here because i've sold it in our videos but that course by andrew Ng, it the machine learning specialization that is it's just fantastic 
take that one that's pretty much the only theoretical machine learning course you should really take the second one is the 100 page machine learning book again this one is an excellent resource but i wouldn't necessarily use it for learning straight off the bat this textbook i use to brush up on concepts because well it's 100 pages and it covers a lot of machine learning so it's not that in depth but once you know topics it's a really good book to like brush up on and i joke that it's like lovely nighttime reading because i used to read it at night sometimes i know a bit sad and the final textbook i recommend is the hands-on ml with scikit-learn keras and tensorflow again recommend this book in so many videos if you had to get one book to learn machine learning and data science, it'll be this book. It's that good. It'll teach you everything from the fundamentals to reinforcement learning. It is by far and away the best book in machine learning, in my opinion. So get that one if you have only £50, $50 to spend. This is the book you have to get. Being honest, the fundamental algorithms will cover pretty much the majority of cases or the majority of modeling tasks that you will face in your career as a machine learning engineer. However, deep learning is quite fun and most people kind of get into this field because they want to build deep learning models. And I totally get it. That's kind of was my inspiration originally. You know, I watched AlphaGo documentary and then I really wanted to work on deep learning projects. Only when I entered the field, I realized that neural networks, transformers, deep learning, all these like fancy buzzwords are not used that often and often not needed if you're just looking to generate value for the business. But anyway, that's a whole different conversation. If you do want to learn deep learning, then there are kind of four things you need to learn, at least at the fundamental level. The first one is just be better or learn more neural networks. Learn more information about them, learn how to build deep neural networks, learn things like vanishing gradient problem, batch norm, things like that. Just like the topics around neural networks and how to create more effective neural networks. The second one is learn convolutional neural networks. So CNNs are mainly used for computer vision and image processing processing tasks. The third thing is RNNs or recurrent neural networks. These are kind of obsolete now, but they were originally designed, well they are still are designed, for sequence models like time series and natural language. And the fourth thing I will learn is transformers. So transformers are basically the latest state of the R in the whole field. Like this is the pinnacle at the moment of machine learning models and transformers are behind ChatGPT, LLMs, well, the same thing technically, but they're behind basically the whole AI revolution or revolution, you can call it, that we're seeing nowadays. So Transformers is like the last thing I recommend learning because that they are the cutting edge at the moment. In terms of resources, the first one I recommend is a deep learning specialization by Andrew Ng. This is the follow on from the machine learning specialization. So it'll build upon the fundamental algorithms to teach you all the sophisticated deep learning ones that I just mentioned earlier. The second resource I recommend, which is probably, I don't know how this resource is free, is the Neural Networks Zero to Hero course by Andre Kapathy. For those of you who don't know who Andre Kapathy is, he was a founder or one of the founders of OpenAI, and he was like the senior director of AI at Tesla. So he kind of knows what he's doing. And he's also like in his 30s. He's so young, yeah, he's so accomplished. Anyway, he released a YouTube tutorial series where he went from basically creating your own neural network from scratch or using basic NumPy all the way to creating your own GPT model. So he literally goes from zero to hero real quick. And this course, I don't know how it's free. It's on YouTube, but it's amazing. Like if you really want to understand how LLMs work, how neural networks work, then take this one and like I said it's completely free so you don't even lose money as a result of it which is just mind-blowing in my opinion and the final resource I recommend is the deep learning textbook by Joshua Bengio I hope I pronounced his name right this textbook is written by one of the three so-called godfathers of AI and to be honest that's all you really need to know why I'm recommending this book like you'll be taught deep learning and all these like cutting edge models by one of the like I said godfathers of AI so yeah like it, like I said that kind of explains why I'm recommending this book given the title is machine learning engineer you need to know the fundamentals of software engineering so that you can effectively deploy your models into production. So the things you need to know are one, data structure and algorithms. You need to know this because, well, you want to pass interviews, but also understand how to make your code more efficient. And it just really helps to have really good pure science fundamentals. And that's exactly what 
data structures and algorithms will teach you. Number two, you need to learn system design. Again, this is for passing interviews, but also is to understand how to design large scale systems and how machine learning fits into that. Because a lot of models require quite, not complex architecture, but they need to run in a system in lifetime, you know, with data streaming in, things like that. And system design will help you. Learn, learn that information. Number three is you need to learn how to write production code, which is like unit tested, linted, it has types, you know, just like all the best practices and like a few principles like Yagni, Kiss, Dry. Just understand how to write really good production code that works, is robust, and is well tested. This is something that's quite hard to do and something you need to learn on the job, but it's well worth it. And it's like, it's just such a core skill you need as an engineer in this current day. And finally, the fourth one is you need to learn APIs. APIs are pretty much how the whole internet or web or software works nowadays. And many machine learning algorithms are actually served through an API endpoint. So learn about APIs, the different types, and basically how to create them. In terms of resources, I highly recommend you check out Neat Code's courses on data structure algorithms and system design. They are by far and away probably the best courses out there on those two topics, and the way he teaches is just amazing. I would also use Leak Code and HackerRank to improve my data structure and algorithms courses, and also use those kind of problem sets to practice for interviews. And finally, I recommend you check out the Software Engineering for Data Scientists textbook like the title suggests of the book is exactly that it teaches data scientists or people who work in machine learning but not that engineering focused software engineering so that way you can transition more into the machine learning engineer roles so fantastic book again it's a book so a bit long but you know if you want to buy as a reference text to learn all the things you need to become a machine learning engineer from data science then that's the book for you A saying I've heard quite a few times is that a model inside a Jupyter notebook has zero business value. Therefore, similar to software engineering, you also need to learn MLOps to understand how to effectively deploy your models into production so they actually generate business impact. I personally would rather have a model in production making subpar decisions, but it's a net gain for the business than this really sophisticated deep learning model who's really accurate inside a Jupyter notebook but is literally doing nothing. Impact is everything, particularly in business-based tech roles, and that's what you should focus on. And the way you generate impact is making your models actually make life decisions that influence the business in some sort of way, whether it's customers or, you know, you're, you're, you're selling things, just like whatever it is, like your model has to create impact. And it does that by being in production, making live decisions. Now, the things you need to learn in MLOps are mainly the cloud. So the cloud is the first thing you should learn. And whether that's AWS, Azure, GCP, to be honest, you should really learn AWS because it's something like half their companies run on AWS, but any cloud kind of provider will do, but just understand or learn how to deploy your algorithms through the cloud. So if it's AWS, you don't need to overcomplicate it. Learn the basics like EC2, S3, Beanstalk, Depth Functions, Lambda Functions, just things like that, and just how to deploy your algorithms that they make live predictions. So the cloud is by far and away the most important thing you can learn when it comes to MLOps. Second to that is more about how you can make your things run in the cloud. You should learn containerization. So that's things like Docker and Kubernetes. And finally, you should also learn things like Git for version control. I mean, this is a given. I'm surprised I'm putting it in this list. Like Git is how mo majority of software is built. In fact, all software is built. So you need to know this. And also it's well worth learning something like Circle CI, which is used for CI CD. And it's like the most common so like CI CD provider. In terms of resources to learn all this information, I recommend one, the Practical MLOps textbook. This textbook, like the name suggests, is or teach you MLOps in a practical hands-on way. And is the book I use to learn a lot of the information about MLOps. And number two is Designing ML Systems. This book is written by Chip Hewan who probably is the leading person when it comes to knowing and teaching AI ML systems in production. So those two books, take either one of those, they both will teach you similar things, but they're probably the two best textbooks about designing and implementing ML systems into production. Studying everything on this roadmap will give you all the knowledge required to become a machine learning engineer, but it won't guarantee that you will land a job. 
To land a job, you need to demonstrate your skills with a solid portfolio with the right projects. If you want to know exactly how to do that, then I recommend checking out this video where I explain the exact projects that you need to create in order to land a job. I'll see you there.